excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get to close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's reducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Mumbai, India, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with tonight. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. So we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big body kick. Back to the feet now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Also, oh, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick lands. Rips the body there for good measures. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, the next with another uppercut. I'm surprised his opponent's head stayed on his body after he that. He won't be able to take many more of these. Right. He's been taking them over and over again, and it's a testament to his chin. But you take one on the perfect spot, he will crumble like a stack of bricks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Beautiful strike. Nice body shot there. And follows up with another one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice one, two there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big kick. Campbell inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Alright, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Got clipped with the right hand. Level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Good stick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Ooh, big shot, man. Such a fast leg kick. Beautiful head kick. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Lands over the top. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Way to hide that leg kick. Takedown, no problem. Good punch. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And just misses with that big right hand. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they both been so easily matched. We're still right where we start. Nice punch by Luke. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's getting lit up right now, He's John. Got here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big left hook there. And there comes the separation now. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice head kick. Three minutes to go. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice head kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to land the right just out of range. So he counters with an effective punch there and he's in that situation and paid to have the advantage in reach. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. 20 seconds left. Plus right hand is true. Throws the right hand there. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Very impressive. Your strike. Wow. Up your strike perfectly. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he
he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Great punch. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Right hand on point. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, man, that jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Nice loop and punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Straight right hand counter. Nice. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Ninety seconds to go. Tagging with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike as he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 20 seconds to go. Nice strike. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking the shots. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, big punch man. Beautiful leg kick for him. Well, that strike is blocked. The counter with the inside leg kick is not. Nice job by Lee. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Checks the leg kick. Big power shot there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Nice punch lands on the top. Flips the punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. Might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up with the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Right there, wow. It was 
good night if that landed. Big punch lands through the middle. That uppercut landed. Oh, nice. Under two minutes now to decide this one. his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think he's going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. That was a thudding leg kick. Not there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Real sneaky body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight.